going on, everybody? What's going on? This is Ray Hayes with Supplierty News. Coming to you again with another mini podcast. I guess I'm going to develop a, I guess a name for it other than a mini podcast. Maybe a mini podcast series. Uh, I know the last time I just posted one recently podcast, but I hadn't been on in a while. So I wanted to say thank you all for taking your time out today to listen to the podcast. I hope everyone is having a good day. Good week. Uh, the weekend is fast approaching. Uh, the holiday, the holiday is, is approaching as well. Labor Day is Monday, so I hope I hope everyone has the opportunity to get some uh, some sleep in, time in with the family and friends, and some relaxation. Just have fun, enjoy the quote unquote holiday for for some of us. I know some people do have to still work. I know my, my father in particular, he has to work, so. Not much of a necessarily a holiday for him, but hey, you gotta you gotta you gotta feed feed not necessarily your family for him now, but just for most people feed their family and uh, feed them they feed themselves, pay the bills and all so on and so forth. Also, college football season is here. Yeah, it starts on Friday, so uh, I guess not necessarily a hand clap, but. That's cool to see. I mean, it seemed like it, it just ended with the, the national championship game. So summer is um, basically over, in my opinion, because when football comes back, I, in, my, in my personal opinion, I think it, summer is done with, especially with kids going back to school. Fall is fast approaching. It's no longer scorching hot. And unfortunately, it wasn't scorching hot in Chicago at all this year. It was fairly chill. Maybe it got here and there in the nineties, but not not so much. I know right now it's in the seventies and so. But uh, football heat season is here, and then you have the NFL season right right around the way. I know a lot of people, friends in particular, I know will not be uh, watching the NFL until uh, Colin Kaepernick gets a job. So you have a lot of people boycotting the football season. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how that pans out. As far as the owners, will they eventually give in and uh, stop allegedly blackballing this young man and give him an opportunity? Uh, unfortunately, he won't. Most likely, won't get a starting world right now. He'll be a backup quarterback. So, I mean, the thing is, some owners have an issue. Okay, you bring a backup quarter, quarterback in with all this heat around his name. Is it worth it? I mean. Some fans you will be happy about the move, but then you have a large majority of fans be, besides besides them being white, black, Asian, or Hispanic won't like the move because they disagree with what he did. I mean, he, he nailed doing the national anthem. And, I mean, some people thought it was disrespectful. But that's here neither there reason I brought it up is because football is, is here. Uh, Matt Madden is here. <laughs> so, I mean, that's even that's even cooler. But let's move on to the topic of today. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about Sally Mae. Yes, Sally Mae. And I may get some booze and the infamous Sally Mae. Uh, but... Today, I wanted to talk about the good they're doing. Uh, Sally May uh, is a federal loan organization. They provide loans to college students. Uh, college students and prospective students going into college, meaning high, school, high schoolers, uh, they provide them with loans, whether it be a, a loan for the parent or a loan for themselves. They help you out, make you help, give you opportunity to fund your, your higher education. Uh, however, Sally May has taken heat because of the the high interest rates and them putting tons of young adults in debt prior into getting into the quote unquote real world or getting to their professional career. Uh, personally speaking, I had my loans funded through Sally May, uh, but obviously. Got it changed over to another company as of now, but the interest rate, interest rates were ridiculous. I mean, we can't lie about that. It, it was definitely ridiculous. I mean, 
but it's all on you because I mean, basically, you should. I mean, I should have paid more attention to it. So I can't blame Sally May. They were doing what they had to do. They gave, they afforded me the opportunity to go to college with the money they gave me. So I, I mean, it's, it's no ill will, but it did suck to have such a big debt getting out of college. But what I was saying is that I'm applauding. I would like to applaud Sally May uh, because they're partnering with a rapper named D1. Uh, if you haven't heard of D1, I want you to check out one of his songs, which is uh, which is cool. Uh, I, when I first heard the song, I was like, man, this is, I mean, it's not the average song you would probably be listening to in the car or on a daily basis, but this song like gave you motivation. So just check it out for a second. Because he paid Sally Maybach and D1 deserves a handout. <laughs> Simply be because if you gather up any, I mean, money to pay Sally, Sally Maybach, yo, that's simply great. So I applaud that brother for even getting that opportunity to, to pay them back at such an early age. But uh, D1 and Sally May are partnering for the D1's Lollards for College tour. Now, this is the second. This is uh, the second time they've come together for the college tour. They, they, uh, the first leg started last year. That was the first time them, uh, D1 and Sally Mae going out for the college tour. Uh, but they're about to begin the, the second second uh, year of the college tour. Now, supposedly the college tour is like no, no other. Uh, at each stop, D-Ray will issue a personal challenge to high school students to make college a part of their mission. He will share his story and perform his hit song, which we just played, Sally Maybach. Plus, one lucky student will, will win a $5,000 scholarship. Uh, in 2006, D1 and Sally May teamed up for the, the successful tour in five states. They gave away $95,000. $95,000. Well, that was kind of crazy. I don't know what. Do dollars. But dollars, $95,000 for college and inspiring more. And. and inspiring more than 3,000 high school st students. So D-Ray and Sally Mae, that's a good thing. And the reason it's good is because the fact that D-Ray, he has some influence. He's in the music industry. Some people possibly may look up to D-Ray and see his journey and say, okay, I want to be like this young man and I want to get that opportunity. D-Ray was, a, before I guess he began into his rap career, he was a teacher. So now you have a young man who's a teacher, now a rapper, who's paid off Sally Mae. But the thing is, he understands the struggles and understands what it takes to pay off Sally Mae. The hardships he possibly had to go through in order to reach that goal and paying them off. Now, who knows what his debt was, but there was some form of a debt. And he paid off that debt. So he doesn't owe them anything. But the, the idea, what I like about this tour is that he's able to go around and teach these young young men and women the importance of getting college scholarships and letting them know the 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 ill when it's a debt coming right out of the way. Because the thing is, majority of the college students graduating this year, next year, whatever, will have a big load of debt. I believe it's twenty thousand dollars or more that's ridiculous so if you have somebody coming in telling you hey you need to do this you need to do that you need to really you really really need to apply for scholarships no matter how many essays you have to write no matter how many recommendations you have to get apply for the scholarship because you're going you're going to regret not applying for that scholarship once you get that bill from sally mason you owe us this amount 
each month for the for the next four years or thirty years. It's like a, it's like a mortgage. And the thing is, it sucks to say you're paying them so much you can't possibly afford an actual mortgage. So you have a, a young man who has some influence when I speak preaching that word, and I hope he's t preaching about the the impact of not having student debt. That's simply amazing. And to have Sally May sponsoring this tour, that's even greater. Because, yes, we're, we're putting you in this debt. But, hey, we're going to give you a way to pay, to not have to go into debt, and possibly pay off your debt sooner than later. So, with that being said, I mean, I, I love that message. I, I, I love the D-Ray. and I'm sorry, keep calling him D-Ray, comedian. But D-1... And Sally May are partnering up for this tour. Uh, like I said, this is the second tour. Unfortunately, I didn't hear about the, the tour last year, but I, I wanted to spread the word and let everybody know, as much people I can know about the tour, and possibly they can get their kids down there and see this young man. And, uh, and hear his song, support his music, and just hear the message he has to give to these young men and women. So D, D1, uh, I, I definitely applaud you. Congratulations on, uh, con definitely congratulations on paying off Sally May. I mean that, that's a great opportunity. That's a big that's a that's a big that's a big deal. Uh, for some people it may not be but that's a big deal. Uh, with that being said I want to thank you all for listening to the podcast. If you want to learn more about D1 and the Sally May Novice for College Tour, uh, visit, visit SallyMay.com. Uh, they have they have more information about the tour on their website. Uh, if you sallymay.com you can go in there but if you want to get the i guess the actual the the full site where you can find the tour information uh, i will go to google and google sally may and d1 knowledge for college tour or if you want to support the knowledge for college tour and just talk about it and share that share it with your friends for people to attend hashtag is d1 knowledge uh, go on twitter facebook Make that hashtag and let's make it trend. Let's make it trend and let these kids know about this opportunity. Let them know that D1 and Sally May are giving out a $5,000 scholarship as well uh, during this, this, these college tour, this college tour. So with that being said, thank you all for listening to the podcast. My name is Ray Hayes. Uh, you can visit the website, our website, suppliertnews.com. We post the daily news about diversity, small business, uh, supplier diversity. And uh, we have a little fun as well. And we provide all that training news we provide to you every day. Daily, latest articles about diversity news. What's going on in, in the tech field? What's going on with um, the local small businesses? How they're being impacted by the SBA? And so on and so forth. We have that information for you on our website. www.suppliertnews.com uh, You can follow us on our social media platforms. Twitter, we're at GDN Network on Facebook. You can like our page, uh, Supplierty News. We're also on Glo I'm sorry, not Global, but Google Plus. Uh, on Google Plus, we're Supplierty Supplierty News. Uh, you can find us on there if you're not on so, so Facebook or Twitter and you use Google Plus. Please check us out on there. Thank you again. This is Ray Hayes, and I'm out. <laughs>